Welcome back. Explosive new allegations against President Biden. Senator Chuck Grassley releasing a FBI informant file yesterday, which alleges that the president and his son Hunter coerced a Burisma CEO into paying them $5 million apiece to get a Ukrainian prosecution investigating the company fired. The file also revealed Burisma hired Hunter to protect them through his father and that the executive was pushed into paying the Bidens. Prior to the 2020 election, Biden said he was never investigated for his work with Burisma. Watch this. And there was no investigation going on in Burisma. And that prosecutor we fired should have been fired, period. To my father. Miranda Devine's latest column in the New York Post titled, The Joe Biden Bribery Allegations Need a Special Counsel Now. Joining me right now is the woman herself, New York Post columnist and Fox News contributor, Miranda Devine. Miranda, it's great to see you. Thanks very much for being here. And of course, we've been talking about that WhatsApp post for a couple of weeks now, which uh, was revealed in that same form where Hunter Biden is uh, telling the, his, uh, his counterpart, uh, you know, I'm sitting here with my father and uh, he's basically threatening him to actually follow the direction uh, or he's going to hold a grudge and make sure he pays for it. Miranda, assess what we're seeing here. Look, this is like the pieces of a jigsaw puzzle that are just coming together bit by bit. And I think it's still early days in the investigation. But what we can say is that there is something very rotten in the FBI and the DOJ. Uh, we're seeing from the IRS whistleblowers that uh, U.S. Attorney David Weiss's investigation that went on for five years in Delaware into Hunter Biden was stymied and obstructed all along the way. Uh, they were never shown this uh, explosive FBI uh, 1023 form, which is a confidential human source reporting what he was told by this Ukrainian oligarch who, I mean, you can't take everyone's word for what they say, but the source was a long-term, decade-long, trusted uh, FBI source. And so you would expect that the FBI would have investigated that when it first came to them in 2017 and then it was bolstered with another interview in uh, mid-2020. And the Democrats are putting out that that, that form was fully investigated and found to be uh, you know, not credible by the U.S. attorney in Pittsburgh. That's not true. Uh, Bill Barr told the U.S. attorney to have a look for anything he could find that backed up some allegations that were coming in. They were flooding in, actually, in uh, 2020 about Joe Biden and bribery. And he, uh, Scott Brady, got his team to look at it. They assessed that it was credible and passed it on to David Weiss, and yet the IRS uh, criminal investigators there said that they and the FBI criminal investigators never saw it. So that's, you know, the scandal of uh, the influence peddling scheme that Joe Biden has conducted during his vice presidency through his family that netted millions of dollars from China and Ukraine and Russia and so on. That's a big scandal. But I think even bigger, bigger than Watergate, is the cover-up. Yes, that's right. And, and, and that scandal has uh, two different forms. There's the cover-up uh, by the FBI and federal agencies, and then there's the cover-up by the media. I mean, it's absolutely stunning to me that Sorry. every day we get another piece to this puzzle, and the mainstream media will not report it. There was absolutely no conversation whatsoever at all yesterday on ABC News, mm. uh, their big nightly show, and nothing on Good Morning America, their big morning show, uh, yeah. about the hearings yesterday. Yeah, and the New York Times has not covered this bombshell from Chuck Grasley, this FD-1023. You know, you can couch it with all sorts of careful caveats about how it's just allegations, but these allegations fit with the pattern that we've heard from, you know, whether it's the laptop or Hunter Biden's former business partners like Tony Bobolinsky or the IRS whistleblowers who had separate 
iCloud information uh, that they brought down from Hunter Biden's material, including that WhatsApp message that you mentioned where he says he's sitting with his father. Um, there's just so much smoke. And one of the big lies that the, the media, the Washington Post, persists with this is that uh, the, the prosecutor in Ukraine who was fired on Joe Biden's very urgent uh, uh, threats, um, he, he was actually aggressively investigating uh, Burisma, the company that was paying Hunter Biden a million dollars a year, uh, at the time that he was fired. He had just uh, ha issued a warrant to seize all the property belonging to Zlachevsky. And they try and cloud that and say that's not true. Um, but, you know, the proof of the pudding is that once Shokin was fired, his successor never did anything about Burisma and Zlachevsky, and they were just let off the hook. So uh, right. there's definitely something fishy going on. Uh, for sure. The House Judiciary Committee released testimony uh, also uh, this week confirming that the FBI told Twitter that Hunter Biden's laptop was real on the very same day that The New York Post published the infamous story about it leading up to the 2020 election, Miranda. They knew on that day, and yet they all attacked The New York Post, uh, and, and they attacked Fox for reporting these things. Yeah. Well, uh, it, it's really appalling around the laptop, the censorship and the lies that were told, uh, which was the FBI that went into the social media companies and were pre-bunking our story. They were seeding mistrust so that when Facebook and Twitter and so on saw our story on the morning of October 14, 2020, they immediately knew that this was what the FBI had been warning them about. And then you had the CIA, uh, five former CIA directors, um, 51 former intelligence officials, mostly from the CIA, wrote that dishonest letter saying that it was all Russian disinformation. And we now know that they were coerced to write that, or, or Mike Morell, the former CIA director, was coerced to write that by the Biden campaign. He got a phone call from Antony Blinken, who at that stage was a senior advisor in the campaign, now Secretary of State. And uh, he, uh, Morell testified he never would have thought of getting that letter written and, and signed by all those officials unless uh, Anthony Blinken had triggered him to do so and sent him a ridiculous article from USA Today saying that the laptop and our stories were Russian disinformation. Um, and now we also know that there was a serving CIA employee who was soliciting signatures, or at least one signature there. So uh, rotten to the core these institutions and there really has to be a big clean out and remember a lot of this cover-up was happening while Donald Trump was president he was being hoodwinked and tricked by his own uh, even appointees perhaps and certainly by the deep state by the bureaucrats there they were actively working against the sitting democratically elected president and we see a similar situation right now in the face of all of this coming out. The, the uh, 1023 released yesterday so that the American people can see it. Donald Trump is about to get indicted for the third time. Um, and, and I'm glad you yes. mentioned the 51 spies who lied, Miranda, because l let's just underline this for a second. On that very day, on that very day that the 51 spies who lied came out with that letter and signed on the bottom line that this could very well be Russian disinformation, a sitting director of national intelligence, he was actually in the job. John Ratcliffe yes. came on this program, okay, on this program and said, this is not Russian disinformation. We did not give this to the intelligence community and tell them it was Russian disinformation because it's not Russian disinformation. The very same day. They come out and they sign this letter, and they're talking about all of these spies who are so important, who have these great resumes, and they completely ignore the sitting director of national intelligence on this program. Listen to this. This is what John Ratcliffe told us on that very day. Watch. This is not part of some Russian disinformation campaign. The intelligence community has not been involved with Hunter Biden's laptop. Hunter Biden is a U.S. person, and he would be subject to any investigation regarding fraud or corruption would be uh, rightfully the jurisdiction of the FBI. So the FBI has had possession of this. 
Can you imagine? He said this on this day. Later that day, they come out and they completely ignore the sitting director of intelligence and they go with John Brennan and, you know, James Clapper and, and Leon Panetta and the rest. Yeah. Yeah, and Adam Schiff was fanning out everywhere, saying that it was a Kremlin right. plot. And, of course, those were the lines that Joe Biden used a few days later in the final debate against Donald Trump to uh, basically, it was a get-out-of-jail-free card for Joe Biden because this was, um, you know, our reporting on the laptop was a serious crisis within his campaign. He went to ground. He wouldn't answer any questions. Uh, they were lying to everybody. They were ignoring us. And... Uh, the rest of the media accepted those lies, as they have ever since, that Joe Biden knew nothing about his son Hunter's overseas business dealings. And then, of course, the CIA, these former high-ranking directors who should have been stripped of their security clearances uh, immediately, the FBI knew that that was Hunter Biden's laptop because they'd had it since December 2019. And we now know that they had ascertained that it was Hunter Biden's laptop uh, as early as November of 2019 because they just checked the serial number that they were given by the MacBook repair shop guy uh, against Hunter Biden's iCloud account. And by February of 2020, they had done a full forensic on it and they had said it was credible, usable evidence in any legal case. And yet uh, the laptop was never given to those investigators in Delaware. They got bits and pieces from it and they asked for the whole thing. They were never allowed to. There was so much protection of the Bidens going on and it's really inexplicable that these people would corrupt themselves on behalf of a president who has got very questionable ethics. Yes, for sure. Miranda, thank you very much. Miranda Devine, The New York Post. We'll keep following your Thanks, work, Miranda. Miranda. We'll see you soon.